What are you doing? Now that final's over, I am tossing my notebooks. Hopefully I can sell my textbooks. Well, you should sell your notes too. You're like a machine when you take notes. Oh, man, did it feel good to sleep in after pulling all those all-nighters studying for finals. You guys worried about them way too much. Okay, well, they're over now, and we made it through our first year of college, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? I got an A on that paper. Yay! Don't you mean Sierra got you an A? Oh, yeah, well, she sure helped. Mm. So let's stop thinking of school and start thinking about summer, because I see a lot of hanging out, and this place is going to be party headquarters. <laughs> well, anyone want coffee? Yeah, I'll help you. Okay. Oh. So it's only a matter of time before she finds out you're a mooching loser. Yeah, well, love is blind, right? And she is way in love with me. Yeah, because you're pretending to be someone you're not. Based on intel provided by you. So don't even think of breaking her heart by telling her you arranged the whole thing. What did you arrange? So you're really cool with this? I mean, you ready to give this a shot? Yes, but only on the very clear understanding that this has got to be something that's... That's a, a marriage name only. Of course, I mean, I told you that when I first asked you. That's not going to change. Okay. I just want to see you get your green card and stay in Salem. And, you know, stay alive. <laughs> Absolutely. What changed your mind? I mean, I get that you don't want me to leave Salem and we're friends, Well, but... it's partly that, but I also knew that if you went to Mexico, your life would be in danger because of the people you crossed. Yeah, you already knew that. It was something else. I... I found out that Chad and Gabby are both in Greece. And since they're moving on with their lives the way that I think that they should, I figured that it was time for me to do the same. I know that hurts. I, I'm, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. It's my decision. And I still, I think that I'm doing the right thing for Chad and for Thomas and for myself. He's an idiot. You know that. No, he's not. He can't help the way that he feels. That man wanted to love me with his whole heart, but he couldn't because of the way he felt for Gabby. So, you know. Anyway, I figured I'm not really planning to get involved with anyone anytime soon, so I might as well help you out of a jam. God knows I owe you. Not as much as I owe you. What are you doing looming over me like that? Projecting your will. I was so looking forward to that well-deserved vacation, exploring the Inca ruins in Machu Picchu, but no, I had to hear that Chad flew all the way to Greece in search of a cursed amulet. Well, I guess the jewelers here were all out of cursed amulets. This isn't funny. And you sent Chad and his blessing, too, didn't you? He's a grown man. He makes his own decisions. Well, this was a terrible one. I knew if he became in possession of that amulet, it would be the total ruin of our family. That's why I flew to Greece. Oh, my God. So I could stop him. I think that was an overreaction. This is a matter of life and death. How could you have sent Chad into such danger? Because I don't believe in curses, all right? But I do believe in prophets. And if we get that amulet before Deimos does, we're going to make a fortune from it. But did he get it? No, thank God. You may not believe in curses, but that amulet ruins the lives of anyone who ever comes in contact with it. <clears throat> Give me the amulet. I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, damn well what I'm talking hey, about. Listen. Hand it over. Look, I don't, I don't think maybe you just got the, the, the wrong room, okay? Why don't I just call down? Yes, that'd be the smartest thing, Mara. Or I'll slice the little... Hey, hey, Kate. With you watching, huh? Okay. 